So now we've cleaned up the eyes in this image, there's one thing we still have to do, and that is to correct the eyelashes or fix the eyelashes. If I zoom in on the eye, command space bar, click and drag, and we have a look at the eyelashes here. Now they're pretty good. Originally, if I switch off the layer that we fixed the eyes on, we can see that there are a few stray eyelashes which we got rid of, and these eyelashes which were pointing downwards, as well as a few stray hairs here and there. Now, to switch this layer back on, we've gotten rid of these lashes here. However, as a result, we can see that it seems to be a bit of a gap here. We need a few eyelashes coming up from the left-hand side of the eye here. As well as that, we have a couple of exceedingly short lashes which need to be replaced, and there are a few gaps here and there. And finally, we can probably shorten a couple of these lashes because they're all different lengths. So we just need to maybe shorten them a little bit, or we'll just paint over them. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a new eyelash. And it's relatively easy. So all we need to do is create a new layer and we'll make our little eyelash template on this layer. And I'll rename this eyelash. And what we're going to do on this layer is create an eyelash. That can be our template. And then we'll manipulate that lash so it fits wherever we want it to sit. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we're on our brush tool. I'm going to come up to my hardness and change my hardness to 100%. And under my brush options options here, I want to tick Shape Dynamics. And what that's going to do is, it's going to give us this tapered edge effect on our brush. So, we'll, so the brush stroke will start off thick and finish off thin. Next, I want to take a sample of the color of the current eyelashes. So I'm going to zoom right in, get onto my eyedropper tool by hitting the I key, and change my sample size to something very small, like say, point sample. And I'll just click right here in the center of one of these lashes. So we have this kind of very dark brown color. It's not quite black, but it's very dark brown. I'll pan back out, Command minus, to about here. Back onto the brush tool. I'll just reduce the brush size a little bit. And all we have to do is create a brush stroke. And I'll do that right now. That looks pretty good. So that can be our, our basic template. So I'm, I'll duplicate that. Command J and switch off the original and this eyelash copy here we can muck around with this and manipulate it exactly the way we want. Command T for our free transform tool and we can bring this, we'll sit this wherever we want so we'll just bring it down here and what the first step is I'm going to replace this eyelash right here. So I'll bring this over, hold down the shift key and click and drag one of the corners to reduce the size of this lash. And I'll just tilt it exactly at the angle that I want to about there. Looks pretty good. And hit enter. Now I'm just going to alter the curve of this lash so it sort of fits in with the other lashes. So with my marquee tool, I'll hit the M key, select that lash, come up to filter, liquify, command plus just to bring it up in size a little bit. And I'll reduce my brush size to about there. And now I'm just going to nudge this so we get a nice gentle curve perhaps to about, that looks pretty good, and I'll click OK. Command D to deselect, V for my move tool, and I'll just move it just into place there. Now, it looks a little bit thick, so Command T, and I'll just click and drag one of these edges in, just to reduce the thickness a little bit, and hit Enter. So that looks pretty good, but what's not quite right with this at the moment is it's not quite the right colour. It's a little bit dark. So now I want to alter the color of this entire eyelash copy layer. So Command U to bring up my hue and saturation. I'll tick Colorize, and already it's changed the color a little bit. It's gone from a charcoal gray to a, a browny purple color. And I need to make it a little bit more orangey brown, so I'm gonna slide this hue bar a little bit further to the right. And that looks, that looks a little bit closer to what we're after. And I want, it's a little bit too saturated in color, so I'm going to bring the saturation down to about there and click OK. Now, compared to these other lashes, it's a, it's a little bit stark. So what I'm going to do is, and perhaps just a little bit too sharp, so I'm going to blur it a little bit. So I'll go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'll blur it by maybe 0.5 of a pixel. And let's see what that looks like. Before and after. And that's pretty much what we're after, so I'm going to tick OK. Now one more thing needs to be done to this lash to make it match the others a little bit more closely. And that is just to reduce the opacity a little bit. So if I bring down the opacity down to about, let's say, 70%, and this lash is almost indistinguishable from the others. 
So now all we have to do is make a few copies of this lash and place them in other parts of the eye. Command J to copy that layer. And I think I'll, I'll place a couple more lashes down on the left hand side of your eye here. So I'm going to move this new lash down to here. Edit, transform, flip horizontal and Command T to place it exactly where we want. So I think perhaps, and maybe reduce the size down a little bit as well. So perhaps that looks pretty good. I'll hit enter. And maybe I want to accentuate the curve of this lash just a little bit more. So M for my marquee tool, select that lash, go up to filter, liquify, zoom in a bit, and just push this curve a bit more. Hit OK, Command D to deselect, and that looks pretty good. Now I think I'll just do one more a little bit further to the left hand side here. So Command J to copy that again, V for my move tool, and just move this a little bit, this new copy a little bit further to the left. Command T to uh, transform it, and I'll just tilt it a little bit further and reduce its size yet again, just another stage down. Hit enter, Command minus just to pan out a bit. Now let's see where else we can place some new lashes. And I think we can place maybe another one a little, yet again, a little bit further to the left, on the left-hand side of your eye here. We can place another one down here, and maybe another one over here, because these are, this lash is a little bit faint and a little bit short. So, Command-J, and I'll create another little lash, a little bit further to the left, and I think this needs to be tilted a little bit further to the left as well. Enter. Now I'll grab my original eyelash copy here, duplicate that, Command-J, and drag it down, down to here, edit, transform, flip horizontal, command T, and just bring it exactly where we want it. Now I'll just zoom in to get a better look at this. Hit enter, and I need to affect the curve. It needs a little bit more of a curve. So M for my marquee tool, Select it, come up to Filter, Liquify, zoom in, increase my brush size with the right bracket key, and I'm just going to bring up this curve, exa exaggerate this curve a bit more. That looks pretty good. Click OK, Command D to deselect, Command T, bring its size down a little bit, and just tilt it exactly where I want it to go. Hit Enter. And in this case, I might bring its opacity down even further. Perhaps to about 60%. Looks pretty good. So I'll carry on now and just place a few more lashes around the eye. And we'll see if we can improve it just that little bit more. So here we are. Finally, I've created all the lashes that I need. And I've dumped them all into this new group called eyelashes here. I'll zoom right in. So if I do a quick before and after, before and after, you can see I've just evened up these lashes and filled in the gaps. But there's one thing we still have to do, and that is to even out the length of the lashes. And you can see that these ones around here are just a little bit longer than the others. And it's a little, looking a little bit uneven. So a really quick easy fix is that above the top layer here, I'm going to create a new layer and get onto my stamp tool with the S, S key and 30% uh, opacity, so I'll hit the 3 key. And all I'm going to do is just clone over the tips of these uneven lashes. So option click, and you can see I'm just brushing over the lashes that are just a little bit too long. Down here. And a little bit up here, and so on. So quick before and after, before and after. And you can see the lashes are just gradually becoming a little bit more even. So I just have to do the same on the other side. So before and after. So that's a really good way of fixing up eyelashes by creating an artificial one and altering its color and size to fill in the gaps.